Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a pretty big unboxing. We got this big package from Right Stuff in today, and I am super excited about this. I don't know why, but this has been the most excited that I've ever been for a box set. So I'm gonna oh, go ahead and open it right here in front of you guys, and we can get my initial reaction to this box set right here. All right, we got the new packaging for box sets from Right Stuff here, and it's perfect. Take a look. Got the Claymore, the complete box set. I've been waiting over a year for this. So let's open it up and take a close look. All right, guys, back to the hand cam here. I want to show off the box set in its glory and not have me in the background. This is one beautiful box set right here. It might even be one of my favorites. We have this beautiful character here in the front with this huge sword, kind of similar to the, the sword from Berserk, which I have heard a lot of comparisons between this and Berserk. The only difference being is here we have female characters versus male characters in Berserk. The only difference is that this one is complete, so I'm really excited to read a Berserk-ish story um, with females, and it's nice and short, and I can finish it pretty quickly here. So I'm gonna read this one. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with One Piece. I'm gonna open this up, I'll read the first couple of chapters and I'll give my initial impressions because I do want to get straight into this. But here's the front cover. We've been looking at it long enough. Here's the side. I don't know what the heck this is right here, but it looks pretty cool. It's like and on the sort. back, we got the back side of the female character that we saw in the front of this box set, as well as a, like a, I don't know if that character behind her um, is her. It looks like a different character just because she has long hair, um, but I do like the way it looks. And then on this side, we also have some, one of those strange creatures, cool looking creatures here. Now on the top, we just have the Claymore title here, as well as this sort of character. I don't know if that's some sort of brand similar to what's shown in Berserk. And on the bottom, we don't really have anything except for the Shonen Jump logo, the Viz Media logo, and the actual retail price here, which is $214. However, I did not pay that. I got this one from Right Stuff on sale, and I ended up paying around 160 ish i don't remember the exact price but yeah i got this one on sale for a great deal i just had to wait a super long time to get it which by the way this i believe this still is in stock so if you guys are interested in this box set i'll leave an affiliate link down below directly to this box set if you guys use that link it will help out the channel and future giveaways which we always have about at least one giveaway per month on here now let's open this bad boy up together nice velcro sound which that is one thing that bugs me about these Viz Media box sets. Uh, they're cool and all, but after a while they start to peel off, which kind of sucks. Um, but this one's brand new, so no peeling yet. Oh, nice. So we got some hands kind of intermingling right here. Looks really cool. And as we open it up, we're treating to this amazing artwork right here of our main character, I presume. Her eyes look really amazing. They look like snake eyes. Really cool right there. And if I just turn this a little bit more, you guys can see all of the spines, different colored spines. Really digging the look of these spines right here. You guys know I love me some nice covers. Let's take a look at that next. All right, so here's volume one, two, three, four, five, six. Creepy looking creature right there. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that, that's it for the top level of this box set. Let's take a quick peek inside. We do got some, some artwork here on the background. I don't know what's going on. It looks like we have some soldiers here in some sort of battle, but I don't know exactly what's going on here on this background. Still nice that we, they do include a background here. Continuing with the covers, here's volume 15. 16, 17, 18. Whoa, that's an even creepier creature right there. 19, 20, 21, 22. What are those right there? Hmm, 23, 24, 25, 26, and finally, volume 27. So as always with Ms. Media, we do get some extras here. No poster, unfortunately. I don't see a poster, but we do have this Claymore Illustrations booklet, just black on the back, just has a title here on the front. And flipping through the pages, we get some nice black and white artwork of our characters, maybe some of the nicer scenes from the series. Oh wow, so this is getting pretty explicit here, but yeah. 
pretty cool little book. I am going to flip through this one. Maybe after I'm done with the series because it might have some spoilers. But yeah, now that all volumes are gone, you can kind of see the full image there. I don't know what exactly is going on here, so they probably could have used some better artwork in my opinion. But this artwork right here is amazing. So now, so now I usually always like to point out my top three volume covers. So from the ones that I just took out, here are my top three. I'm not gonna lie, these uh, covers aren't the greatest in my opinion, but from what we do have here, I did pick out three that I did really like. So, and at number three here, we have volume 24. I love the pose that she has here, and I don't know what's shattering here all over the foreground and the background, but I do like the way this one looks. So this would be my cover number three. And at number two, I have volume 17. I just kind of like the bold red orangish outline that they have around the character here. I don't know why, I think it looks really cool. So yeah, this one is my number two favorite cover. And number one was an easy choice. As soon as I saw this one, I put it aside and I knew this was gonna be my favorite cover. We have volume 19. I don't know who this is. I don't know if it's the main character. I don't know if this is any spoilers, but she looks awesome. I love the whole design of her. The wings look pretty cool, pretty creepy and cool at the same time. So yeah, this was an easy pick for number one favorite cover of this series. Uh, those of you who have this, or, the, or if you just saw the covers here in this video, let me know what your favorite covers are. But now let's get to volume one. We'll read the first couple of chapters and I'll give you guys my initial thoughts on this series. All right, volume one. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm done with the first chapter. Uh, I thought it would be long, but I actually read through that pretty quick and I would love to keep reading, but it is pretty late and I'm just gonna, and I said I was just gonna read a chapter, but overall, I'd say that the story did grip me. I do wanna read more. However, the there are a few issues with it and the first main one is the artwork. Uh, the artwork is actually not the greatest. Like a lot of the characters look very similar to each other, uh, especially these two brothers. I mean, I know they're brothers, but they look practically identical. And some of the villagers, as I've noticed here, they're not even drawn in fully. Like they sometimes don't draw either the eyes or the nose. Um, but yeah, just the artwork is not the greatest. They're but yeah, that's really the only issue. Other than that, I like the story. Uh, basically what's going on in the first chapter is we have this village that's being attacked by a Yoma is what they call them, which is are just some sort of mystical creatures. And they decide to go and hire a Claymore, which apparently they don't like being called that. That's a name that was put on them. And Claymores are these beings. They're not exactly humans. They've actually drank in blood of the Yoma. And they're kind of like hybrids between a human and a Yoma. So they do have some supernatural abilities and they are actually faster and stronger than the Yoma. But the thing is, only women have been able to become successfully turned into these Claymore. Uh, so the first Claymore that we're introduced here, that is the main character, the girl that's on the cover as well. Her name is Claire. We do find that out in the last page after she kills the Yoma that's in the village with the kids from the village ask for her name. Uh, so yeah, that's where we left off. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm really intrigued to see how wh where this story goes. And as for the box set, it's great. If you guys haven't picked it up, I do recommend you pick it up. But if you haven't read it, I'd recommend maybe reading the scans for the first few chapters just to see if you guys like the art style. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the box set and the first chapter of the series. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have read Claymore, let me know if it gets good later on. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.